Hi folks, Chris Voss from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Uh, be sure to contact my consulting firm, Strategics One Consulting, if you need help with social media and business. We are business consultants, and uh, we help you become more successful in what you're attempting to do. The number for the company is 310-997-2204. One of the things I want to talk to you about today, I went to some uh, great tweet up last night. Uh, at Las Vegas here, and I really enjoy these tweet ups. I actually get to go meet people uh, ahead of time. I'll, I'll let people know, hey, I'm planning on meeting you uh, at the tweet up. I've got special cards that I use that say, hey, this is Chris Foss, and uh, here's some of my other contact information so that we can build tighter relationships with people after we meet at tweet ups. But uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about is, is don't use social media as a buffer. Okay. Now you've heard me talk before about publishing your phone number online. I publish my phone number online all the time. No one ever freaking calls. In fact, I'm amazed when the person that I'm asking to use the phone number actually calls me back. I'm usually in shock, like, wow, they actually called. Um, and usually it's when someone's contacting me through DM and they're a little bit more committed, I think, at that point than being on a mentions thing. So uh, publishing your your phone number, of course, you've heard me talk in prior posts, is business 101. Okay, if you're not, if you don't publish your phone number, it tells me you're not professional enough to handle the volume of business that you need to get to to be extremely successful. When you build multi-million-dollar companies and you have thousands of employees, you have to do a lot of phone work and you have to do a lot of contact work to build relationships. And you never know where some of your money or some of your business is going to come from. But you have to make contact. If you don't make contact, nothing will happen. Now, one of the things I want to talk to you about is there's the first level of of, of uh, relationship building, which is this Twitter stuff. You meet me through Twitter, I meet you through Twitter. We pass around this 140 character format. Maybe we meet or engage or drive from Twitter into Facebook, LinkedIn, or one of the other um, social media things that are out there. So, you know, we, we go from there. Maybe you, you retweet me a lot, maybe whatever the case may be. Um, you know, we get to know each other over time, uh, whatever. Uh, there comes a point where that relationship has to go to the next level if you really maybe want to get to know me more or really build relationships or potentially do business with me or maybe find out how I can do business with you. And it has to come from contact. Now, we can't, of course, close million dollar deals over the Twitter account. It's not going to happen. Okay. At, one, at some point or another, you have to either pick up the phone and call me or I have to pick up the phone and call you and or we have to meet in person or maybe over video over the internet on Skype or something. So that, that contact has to take level uh, take place to a new level. I'm here to build relationships and I like knowing lots of people. I always have. I've had up to 400 people at parties at my home. And uh, so I love throwing big parties. But I like knowing lots of people because the more people I know, the more successful I usually can become in my networking. Um, it's not really about quality. It, quality takes care of itself if you know enough quantity. It just happens that way. It's a sales numbers game. Anyone who tells you it's not is fooling themselves and they're minimalist and they don't think very big. Trust me. Um, so, in essence, there comes a point where we have to talk to each other. And I love people to call, contact me. I love people not to have this attitude that, well, you're probably too busy to take my call. I'm not. If you take the time to call me, I'm going to take the time to usually respond to you, return your message, or pick up your phone if I'm available. Um, and that's just important to me in building relationships. And you don't have to be buying something from me. You don't have to be selling me anything. Uh, if you really want to get to know me online, you can just call me up and say, Hey, Chris Foss, let me tell you, some of the best friends that I have found uh, and made in this world uh, with Twitter has come through phone contact. They've either called me or I've called them. And uh, we've had conversations with them. Uh, my best friends right now on Twitter are in my phone book, in my iPhone. Um, there's some times where I've set up on conference calls where there's three or four of us on a conference call and we're laughing to like 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's just a kick and it's fun and it's building friendships and relationships, whether business comes from it or not. But it's fun to take that to the next level. So ask yourself when you're doing your social media, am I using social media as just a buffer to do this silly thing and keep people away from me on my blog? Do I not publish my phone number and I'm putting up walls to keep people from doing business with me? You never know where 
business is going to come from? I may talk to somebody like at a tweet up that I went to last night, and uh, maybe they're not going to do any business with me, but they're going to get to know Chris Voss. They're going to get to know about what I do. I'm going to get to know what they do, and they're going to hopefully refer some business to me. It happens all the time. It happens sometimes where I refer business to other people because I, I got to know what they did, and I'll call them up. I'll say, hey, I got somebody to refer you to that I know that does this. And the more involved I got with Twitter and the more phone contacts I've made, the more I've been able to network and refer people business and also have business referred to me. So if you really want to get serious about social media, you've got to take it to the next level. So pick up the phone, call someone, contact them, you know, get to know them uh, through a deeper thing in their relationship. You know, I've got a collection of business cards here and I'm making sure that, you know, Anybody that I engaged last night that I want to have a deeper relationship with or get to know them more or get some of the information more that I want to expand on that we discussed over drinks, uh, I'm going to be calling them and saying, hey, okay, so we talked about some things the other night. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get business from them, but I'm hopefully maybe going to build uh, a networking thing, some better relationships at, at another level, and uh, we'll see what happens in life. Who knows? So that's the most important thing. Ask yourself if you're just using Twitter consistently as a buffer and a reason not to pick up the phone and that you think that's you know you're contacting people and you're making contacts so hopefully something will come from it pick up the phone call some people get outside of twitter and the social media networks use them to take you to the next level is my point okay and make sure you go to the next level don't buffer yourself away and avoid contact because if you don't con if you don't have any contact you're probably not going to do anything when it comes to business okay so that's uh, the chris foss point for the day uh, be sure to check back here daily and often, and thank you for spending some time with me today. Bye-bye.